السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين مع بعد In the previous class we studied about Abu Bakr Siddiq رضي الله عنه الهجرة with the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم Fine And today we will study about some of the aspects of his life with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Medina okay oh, let's begin this class with a question which battle in which battle was the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alone alone yani with other companions and Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu was absent in which battle the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam participated and Abu Bakr was not present? Yes, what's the answer? Yes, absolutely. I don't know. If you are saying the answer, it's right. Absolutely correct. The historians agree, as Dr. Ali Muhammad as sallabi said, the historians agree that Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu did not miss out on a single battle or a single raiding event in which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was there. Abu Bakr Siddiq was there in all the expeditionary expeditionary forces or the battles in which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was there, and he was always the closest to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu. He was always there at the side of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam took advice and counsel from him. And there are many events like this to mention. I will inshallah mention some events without explaining them. Because those events are from the seerah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and if we start going in detail, then it will become like we are studying the seerah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and then it will be really late for us. We'll be delayed while we reach the Khilafah of Abu Bakr Siddiq radhiyallahu anhu. Let me give you some tidbits, inshallah, some bits. Number one, Abu Bakr Siddiq radhiyallahu anhu was close to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In the Battle of Badr, he was close to his tent, and we can understand from that from the fact that when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was supplicating to Allah and reminding Allah of his promise, Allah subhanahu wa taala does not forget. But when we do du'a, we tell Allah that, "Oh Allah, I did such and such a good deed, so please accept it that way." Okay, that "Oh Allah, you had promised us. Oh Allah, please fulfill your promise. Give us victory." And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's shirt fell off his shoulders. It was Abu Bakr who went and consoled the Prophet that it is enough. Allah will fulfill your promise. So it shows Abu Bakr was close to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After that, when the issue came of uh, the prisoners of Badr, whether we should execute them or we should not execute them and take the ransom. Umar radiyallahu anhu said that we should execute them and Allah liked this opinion. But before Allah revealed an ayah about that, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam took the opinion of Abu Bakr that we will ransom them and we will not execute them. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam initially liked the opinion of Abu Bakr siddiq radiyallahu anhu. Then, even during the battle of Uhud, Abu Bakr siddiq was there and unlike some of the companions whom Allah forgave Allah forgave them who escaped when the matters became difficult in Uhud Abu Bakr Siddiq radiyallahu anhu was still close to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam defending him and protecting him and there were some other companions also who were there with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam after that in the battles of Banu Al-Nadhir Banu Mustaliq Banu Khandaq uh, Banu al-Mustaliq, uh, Ghazwa Khandak, that is the Battle of the Ditch, Battle of Banu Quraida. Abu Bakr is everywhere. In 
the incident of Al Khandaq, that is the Battle of Al Ahzab, Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anhu, he was also digging the trenches along with other companions, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was also there, digging as well. During the Treaty of Al Hudaybiyah, this reminding of the incidents during the Treaty of Al Hudaybiyah, when one of the mushriks, when one of the mushriks, yes, what is his name? When one of the mushriks, he came and he was discussing with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he said to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that, okay, if the Quraysh defeats you, that if the Quraysh makes war with you, then by Allah, I will see these people, these scoundrels, something like saying that these rascals around you, they will run away and they will not fight with you. At that time, it was Abu Bakr who gave him a fitting reply, a very bad word, a very obnoxious bad word to him, and told him, and told him, okay, umsus bi zurillat, huh? Go and suck the private part of Lat, the idol of the idol that this mushrik used to worship. Do you think that we will leave the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and abandon him? That is during a fight. Do you think we leave him? So Abu Bakr Siddiq radiyallahu anhu, he was soft, but when it came to the matter of Allah and His Messenger, he he became harsh as well, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not stop him. Who is this mushrik? Urwa ibn Mas'ud al-Thaqafi. Urwa ibn Mas'ud al-Thaqafi. This happened in the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. During the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. After the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, or after the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, because of a point in the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, you know that the Mushrik said that if anyone from Medina leaves Islam and comes to Mecca, we will not give him back. But if anyone from Mecca accepts Islam and goes to Medina, you have to give him back. The Prophet ﷺ agreed. Most of the companions were sad about this. Even Umar radiallahu anhu were dejected that how can we give back our Muslim brothers? They'll be tortured. Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anhu he accepted and he did not complain. Okay, this does not mean that all the Sahaba are lesser in degree or quality. No, they loved their Muslim brothers. That's why they could not understand the hikmah behind this. But Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anhu was always Samiyana wa Taana. We hear and we obey. Yes. And then after that. Then after that. When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, after the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, when he did the Umrah, the Umrah to Al-Qada, the compensatory Umrah, the companions who were there at Hudaybiyah were there in the Umrah to Al-Qada, and Abu Bakr Siddiq was also with them. Radhi Allahu anhu. During the conquest of Mecca, Hunayn, Taif, when they attacked Mecca and they captured it, that time Abu Bakr was there. When they defeated Hunayn, at that time Abu Bakr was there. And in Taif, when there was a sort of a draw, when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi his forces, they could not break into the fort of uh, Taif. At that time, Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu was there with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. During the expedition of At Tabuk, it is called Ghazwa At Tabuk, the Battle of At Tabuk. No battle happened, but they marched out to meet the Romans, but the Romans did not come out, and the Muslims stayed there for 19 or 20 days and they came back. In this expedition, many of the Sahaba contributed whatever they had to the battle because it was a huge army. The Arabs at that time hadn't seen such a huge army from the Arabs, and the expenses were high. We know that in that time Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu he gave every single thing that he had in his house for the sake of Allah. And Umar radiallahu anhu gave half. At that time Umar radiallahu anhu said that I will never again try to compete with Abu Bakr in good deeds. In the year 9 Hijrah the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was busy so he could not go to do the Hajj. 
the one who was made Amirul Hajj, the one who was made the leader of the Hajj. That year was Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu anhu. Yeah, and that was the Hajj in 9 inch age, after which Ali radiallahu anhu came with Surah Tawbah, the remaining words of Surah Tawbah, and they announced that from now onwards, no Mushrikeen will do Hajj. No Mushrikeen or Kufar will do Hajj. Nobody is allowed into Makkah and nobody will do the Hajj naked. They have to have the Ihram. So these were some of the incidents of Abu Bakr Siddiq anhu when he was in Medina. Inshallah in the next uh, session we will go through some more of the incidents that Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu that occurred with Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu Madina. There are some important incidents, inshallah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this beneficial for all of you. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide the speaker and the listener to become like the best of the companions and the best of the awliya and the saliheen.